West Coast, Vancouver, British Columbia, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Savalski. The Canucks have to close out this home stretch, which has been very friendly to them. Played very well here at home. They started out well, started to put some really good stretches of play together. Now they'd like to finish this off and send their fans home happy for their support. Two teams looking starved for a win, and we are set to go. The Canucks start with possession as we are now underway. And that pass can't connect. The Canucks gain possession. Grabs it at his own end. Keeps hold of the puck. Look at the Savardian spinorama. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. Across the line from center. Konechny's got the puck. Moves it to Sanheim. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Vancouver's playing it from the side. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Make a change, make a change. The Flyers play it along the boards. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Tries to get it to Horvath. Great defensive effort with the stick. Sandheim swooping in on the attack. That pass doesn't go. Quick pass to Konechny. Quick feed down low. Decides to go to the backhand. His reflexes on display tonight. There's the whistle penalty coming up. The Canucks have been handed two for interference. About halfway through this play, you can see him. Ah, I'm in the wrong spot. He should have let him go. He didn't, and he gets called. And he's going to pay for it now. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. You kind of muddle along in a 0-0 game, and now you got a real chance to break that score open. A first power play for them. Colesing's got it against the boards. Goes right to the crease. Over. Hart's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. It's always a little strange when you see your buddies in the other sweater, the one that you used to wear. You've just got to step past that here in his first game against his former team. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Gains the zone from the right. Oh, huge open ice hit. Provorov's got it into offensive territory. And not much on that one. The Flyers will play it from the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Van Riemsdyk. That's off a stick. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Comes up with a stop. And he slides it quickly to Colsey. The Canucks will kill off a few extra seconds now. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Picking up some steam at center ice. Quick feed to Saad. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Taken by Van Riemsdyk. And now he moves it to Saad. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes a shot. Cover, Turned cover. aside by the goaltender. Demko's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Mulkins ready for the draw on this man advantage. Vancouver's won the face off deep in their own end. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Wrists one. Big time save by Hart. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Taken along the wall by Couturier. Hughes is eager to get back on the ice. Nice pass. He's never scored, but watching him wind through the offensive zone, he looks like he's got plenty of confidence. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Another stop by the goaltender. So good. A couple of quick stops keep the puck out. Oh, what a move! And they can't convert the play! And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Hoaglander's gonna play it against the half wall. Into the corner now.
And now it's over to Chara. Puck picked up by Pedersen. Gets the glove on it to make the save. More than half the period left to play. Still looking for our first goal. The Canucks win the faceoff. Denies the chance by blocking it. Can't connect on the shot. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Ellis. Vancouver's got it now. Sends it in on the attack. Lindblom's taking it from his own end. Slides the puck over. McEwen's got it along the wing. Swap up. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Stones him in front. Up the skate and scores! You, you can have it bounce off your skate, James, but look at that. They've waved this off. This looks like a kicking motion is ruled by the referee. Confirmed that goal they scored will not count. Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are ready to get play back underway. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Denied by the puck stopper. That was an important stop for the goalie. Not only does he make the save, but because he catches it, he kills the play. Past the midway mark of the frame. We've still got zeros on the board. The Flyers take possession off the faceoff. Beautiful stop to get a piece of it with the glove. Delayed penalty looming. Looks to make a play over to play. Moves the puck along the half wall. Blay's going to play it from the back of the cage. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Oh, so close, but so far. Well, he's in a good position to shoot it, and he gets lots on it, but just elevates it a little bit too much. Not even a shot on net, though. Lund's getting two for holding. He just lost his position for a second. He wants to reach out to regain that position, but he gets nabbed and for it. totally burned in that split second on that play. Victoria is usually scouted before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Wright's good at stick handling around defenders, and that's his puck on the string zone ability. It's what makes him so dangerous. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Messer. Dumps it in. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Vancouver's got it from behind the net. Nice zone entry from the middle. the puck and that's broken up lets it go shuts it down philadelphia's got possession while undermanned and the puck clears the zone the canucks will play the puck from behind the net dished on over to besser james lines settles things down and gets control of it once again and now it's grabbed by Provorov. Oh, the Minister of Defense with the block. Oh, I had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Trying to get out of the defensive end. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. And they're going to be down a man. Delay of game, the call. Lots of people don't like this penalty. I kind of do, James. The glass is 10 feet high. If you want to put it over it, You've got to make it, in most cases, an effort to get out. The Canucks could really open things up with a five-on-three power play. What a great chance in the game here. Five-on-three. You've got the other team way back on their heels now. Hammers it on net. Denies him. He got all of it. The backhander misses a golden opportunity there. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Malkin. Up the neutral zone now. 
There's a hit on the play. Easy peasy right there by Demko. Pass across to Horvat. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. From the opposite point. He scores! And he's up and running this season. Look at the relief on his face already. He hasn't even played many games, but you want this as early as you can. such a dynamic player and now he's got his first goal of the regular season. Last year he walked away with the Norris Trophy as the league's top defense. The Canucks with a deflating goal for their opposition here late. Well, the game has been so tight I don't know how anybody could feel out of this. Even though it's a one goal lead, it's still Nothing that feels comfortable. Takes it across the blue line. Looking to get it out, and they get it down. That good communication, they talk to each other, they're in the right spot, they just clear it down the ice. Hughes plays it now. They go on the attack from the left side. Hughes shows good hands collecting the puck. Here comes the pushback. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. Not much doubt who the winner is of this fight. Watch it, and now listen. And the crowd back alive here inside the stadium. Pedersen's third eye zone ability is all about his passing skills. He can dish pucks and complete passes that are really difficult to make, guys. He's creative, deceptive, and skilled, and that's really what makes him the playmaker that his teammates just love to play with. Puck grab by Besser. Trying to clear the puck. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Here's a short pass to Burroughs. Tosses it on to Pedersen. And he's going after him here. That's generally a no-fly zone with star players. Yeah, they get hit like that. Somebody's going to get irritated, and guess what happens when they get irritated? Down go the men. Go time. Oh, and down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. They were looking for a spark in this building, and this might provide it. They are pumped yeah. in here. Yeah, this crowd on fire now here in the arena. Hayes is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. One-stop shop for everything. You can get new styles of jerseys, shirts, hats, and more. Pedersen's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Canucks win it. And it's a quick pass to Burroughs. to the sweet spot. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. The Canucks get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Really aggressive work by the penalty killers. They shut that power play down without any danger. Here he is, shot right in front. And he denied that opportunity. And now he angles it across to Hoaglander. Sends the pass over. Vancouver's on the attack. And that's broken up. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Pedersen. 
We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Demko's able to recover, and he makes an unbelievable save here. That's a good chance. In the final moments of this period, the Canucks lead it 1 0. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. And now he tries to get it across to Hayes. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. The Canucks have it now. Angles it over to Greenway. Along the half wall with the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Well, lots of jump at both ends of the ice here as the first period comes to an end. The Canucks get off to a good start. They lead 1-0. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. along the boards. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Let's it go! Oh, no love with the club by Hart. Konechny's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Takes possession off the draw. Puck clears the zone. Takes it behind the net. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Horvat's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, and he whiffs. One-timer. Blocked in traffic. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Trying to clear. Tremendous hit against the wall. Yeah, unless you're the guy carrying the puck. Man, that's got to hurt. Everybody loved it but him. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Makes a save, cool and calm under pressure. Those are the types of hits that the game was built upon. It's legal, it's hard, it's right through the body. That is a perfect hit. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Pedersen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Moves it to Holtlander. Oh, he got paddled by Hart. Oh, wow, stops the game. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. A little disappointing for the shooter here. You take what you think is a pretty good shot, and the goalie kind of easily sticks it aside. Doesn't feel very good. Kiki's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Right in front! He scores! <laughs> and a nice feather in the cap! Making 300 things on that! It is, I just expect him to score all the time now. He's such a consistent player. That's 300 points in his career. Power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss.
The Canucks make their way back to set a race here with now a two-goal lead in the second. Nice to pad the one-goal lead. They've played well, and now they've earned this spot in the game. Quick pass to Kiki. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Hoaglander. The Flyers gain possession of the defensive zone. And they clear that puck. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Colsey. Pass to Burroughs. Can't get a hold of that pass. Looking to break out here on the power play. Moves it to Hoaglander. Takes the feed. Vancouver's got it along the wall. The Canucks will play it against the boards. And now he moves it to Provorov. He was locked in there. And the whistle stops the play. And someone's off to the box. We got a minor penalty coming up For here sure, on this one. For sure, James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop. And now they're going to have to serve two minutes. The Canucks roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. These five on threes of this length don't come around very often here. What a great opportunity for them. Here's a short pass to Hughes. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the face off. Ace won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And they get the puck out. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Vancouver's got the puck against the wall. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Broken up in the neutral zone by Ellis. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. From point Whoa. blank! And that's another power play marker! Well, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They've done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. The power play cashes in. They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. He fired that puck so accurately from in tight, and that's his close quarter superstar ability, guys. If you let him get near the net, he can really do some damage. Takes the pass. Hughes already has a power play marker. You know on this power play, they're looking for more. Blocked in front. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Grabs the puck in the corner. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Make a change, and the puck stopper steps behind his own net to play the puck along the boards. Slides it on over to Horvath. Oh, just a great heads up play by Couturier. Can't connect on the pass. Now he slides it up to Colsey. Moves the puck. Hughes looks around. Quick pass to Tuck. Colesing's looking to make something happen here in the corner. And that pass attempt is deflected. Quick feed to Tuck. Errant pass, and they can't connect. The Flyers will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Let's it go. Tremendous read and even greater sacrifice on the block. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Steps into the offensive end. The Flyers have it now. And now it's over to Saad. And the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot. The puck goes out of play. And we'll get a face off on the heels of that save.
Venturi Ace ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Flyers win the draw. Here's the clearing attempt. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. McEwen's ready to join the play. The Canucks power play comes up huge on the major. Well, that penalty killing group just got run over by the power play. Multiple goals scored on that five minute major. Well, that'll get a response. They're gonna go. James, you lay a hit like that on a star, there's gonna be somebody that's gonna come after you and that's exactly what's happened here. Nice effective use of the wrestling move. Yeah, you don't see that all the time, but this fight had punched itself out. Now, you can't touch momentum, but you can feel it. And the home team's gonna build a little bit, they believe, after a fight win. Listen to this place. Both teams had a chance for a little reset as they step in for the faceoff. Malkins won a big draw on their own end. Vancouver's got the puck here in the open ice. The Canucks take it across the line. Sends it out right in front. Can't connect. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass over to Konechny. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Well, he's back at the bench now grabbing a drink of water. That's 49 career goals for him after that beauty. Still lots of time left in the period. Vancouver's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. Mulkins won it in their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Konechny. Slides it across to Hunt. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. From the right side, takes the pass. Besser's contributed to this blowout with one goal already. And that's wide of the net. Philadelphia's got the puck. He says, let's get physical on that play. The Canucks have dominated possession. They've dominated the scoreboard. This has been a perfect start for them. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Hughes' teammates know how dangerous he is when he gets a breakaway chance. One-on-one -on -one against a goaltender, if he uses his all-alone zone ability, he could really burn the tendy here, guys. Philadelphia's won the draw in the neutral zone. Picked off. The Canucks move it in. Receives the pass. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Ray, you look at another sellout here tonight. It's starting to become one of the better fan bases in the league. Well, it's fun in here. I mean, it's loud. There's lots of things to do for the fans when the game's not going on. I think they've done a great job here. More than half the period has expired. Vancouver's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Here he is, wrestling on net. And that's turned aside by Hart. Tufty's back at it. Up. Ah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Tufty's looking around for somebody to fight. He's gonna have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. That's a pretty good save, James. Just a piece, and I guess enough to keep it out of the net. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Mulkins won the faceoff. Tosses it to McEwen. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And that's knocked away. Sends a pass over. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him with the save. Hart's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. One way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Moves it quickly over to Faraby. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. 
Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Vancouver's not taking their foot off the pedal. They've been aggressive this entire period, and they're controlling the play and have the lead. Philadelphia's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. The Flyers are on the attack. Chase right in front! Oh, what a save with the stick by Demko! He's gonna go back to the bench and wanna look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Canucks have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3 0. And they won't connect on that one. Stick collapses. Yeah, it does, and that's frustrating for the player. Everything right, but the stick is wrong. Gains control of the puck here on the blue line. Now a quick pass to Sandheim. And that one's blocked! Puck scooped up by Geeky. And that's deflected. Moves it to right. Gains the zone on the left wing. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. And the puck departs the zone. And no luck on that pass attempt. The Flyers will play the puck from behind the net. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Things start to get a little physical out there. Great save by Demko. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. White Clouds made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. Late goings of this period. The Canucks are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Vancouver's got possession here in their own end. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. A chance denied by Hart. Takes a shot, denies him again. From the back of the cage with the puck. And that doesn't happen. Here comes the pushback. And look at the crowd on their feet for this one. Yeah, these two guys might not like each other, but they're going to square off, and they won't like each other in a few seconds. It takes him down with authority. He was in control of this boat from the get-go and takes him down to finish it off. Not much to be said from the home team here. Their bench kind of quietly sits back down after their guy comes on the losing end of this bout. Yeah, the air from this building seems to have just deflated in here. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. The Canucks win the draw. With the blast! Denies him on a slapper! Great reach with the poke check. Down the right side and into the zone. And he gives it over to Horvat. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. The Flyers play it along the wing. Nice pass. Sends the pass down low. Well, I gotta think the coach has been walking up and down there trying to wake somebody up. Somebody finally gets the message. He took a pretty solid jolt there, James. Uh, we're gonna have to check in on him in a second. for a few minutes anyway. Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away.
Vancouver's going to have to make an adjustment here. Their injured player will not be back tonight. Horvath's one possession. Slides the puck over. Horvath's having fun tonight. He's padding the assist column, it seems, on a regular basis. Moving the puck, and he's going after him here. And they're going to fight. Yeah, he didn't like that. He got his gloves off pretty quickly. That's a clear winner right there. Both guys trying to give their team a little bit of a jump here, but the away team's not going to like the way that one turned out. Philadelphia's a skater short. Their player who was injured earlier will not be back tonight. Thanks very much for the update, Ray. Malkins won it off the faceoff. Philadelphia is moving it up the ice. And now he angles it across to Konechny. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Can't get it to go. Tufts carrying it ahead. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Hughes. Centering pass, and that's broken up. Handles the puck. Cuts to the paint. Whoa. He scores! Perfect timing. Well, they've been trying to get through, break through on this goaltender who's been running a shadow. Finally, they get one. Goalie just can't keep up to this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Philadelphia's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. It gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. Puck picked up by Tuff. Hughes setting up against the wall. Sends the pass over. Pokes it away in his own end. Takes the feed. From point blank! And the traffic neutralizes Lansing. that threat. Great feed from the left side. Shot on net. He's got the puck with all sorts of traffic around him. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Centering pass! Oh, what a save in front! Demko's made a great save here. He flashes just enough of the body to make the stop on a really great scoring chance. The Canucks gain possession. Taken by Carter. And they'll go the other way with it. Puck exits the zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Shot attempt completely fails on that. Quick pass to Van Riemsdyk. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes the pass. From the right side, they gain the zone. Pedersen's got it in the corner. Point blank stop by Hart. Sharp reaction save. And now he moves it quickly to Burroughs. Takes a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. And he can't get it off. Handles a puck at the point. Hart's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Canucks are up 3-1. Vancouver's got it, and they're on the attack. And he regains control of the puck. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to Atkinson. Philadelphia's on the attack. Sends it down low. The Flyers have the puck in the corner. Moves inside. Denies him in close. 
I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. We're ready to draw our 50-50 grand prize winner. Tonight's jackpot is larger than ever before. Goalies work on this all the time. We get a look in the highlight how they angle the puck off the blocker away from the net. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Vancouver's got it in the defensive zone. The Flyers gain control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Malkin. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Demko's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. The Flyers take possession in the defensive end and puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. The Flyers played along the boards. Hangs onto the puck. Scores! And they get one back! Oh, they're reaching closer, James. There's still time to try and find one more to tie this game. That pass is perfect. I mean, James, I think you could probably receive that thing. It's right in the middle of the blade, flat and crisp. Off they go. When he uses his tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability to pass the puck firmly and accurately, good things happen, and we saw it on that play, guys. His team ends up with the goal, and he gets rewarded with an assist for that great setup. Horvath's got it in the defensive end. Stays with it, and he passes it up ahead to Hughes. Right out in front, and that's blocked. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Pretty fun scoring against the team that traded you. You want to make sure they know they made a bad decision. Here in the later stages of this period, Philadelphia is trailing by one. Vancouver's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Gets it to the other point. And the stick, his best friend on that save right there. The Flyers move it ahead. Lowry's breaks up the momentum. Moves the puck. The Canucks take it along the wall. Exploring options from behind the net. Quick pass across to Lindblom. And he slides it quickly to Lawton. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Moves it to McEwen. The Canucks have it from their own end. On the attack along the boards. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Picked up along the boards by Lindblom. The Canucks have it against the wall. Under a minute to go in the third. Vancouver's lucky to be able to roll out a top line like this. They get into the game and start to feel it, they're really almost impossible to handle. Philadelphia's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Fires it down the ice. And there it is. Empty dinner. I don't seal it up. An easy one right there for the cash in. Well, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. Vancouver's added to their lead with the empty netter, and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goal, they're going to pressure you. You put it away with a easy one into the empty net. The Flyers have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attack. Scores! What a counter punch! Wow, that didn't take very long after giving up a goal. They get right back onto the attack. Well, with the goalie on the bench, you've got an extra attacker out on the edge. You've got to take advantage by a couple of quick passes or winning a puck battle. They do it perfectly and they're able to score with extra skater on the ice. The setters will glide into the dot. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Receives the pass. 
uses the force on that hit. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. Should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. The Canucks add the insurance marker, which pretty much seals the deal on this one tonight, Ray. Well, their opponent pulled the goalie. They're trying to pressure to get the tying goal, but it backfires. And the empty netter puts it away. Gains the zone through the middle. You'll need more than that to beat him. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Couturier's got my vote in this game, guys. Neither player we talked about earlier has been able to get on the board, but despite that, I think he's been engaged in one part of there. Talk about taking your foot off the gas pedal down they the stretch. They really got sloppy, James. I mean, this game is in the bag for them. And then they just stopped working. Once they stopped working, the other team got back in the game. I feel like working might come back and haunt them at practice tomorrow. It's amazing how many fans stay right till the finish now where you kind of get recognized. Yeah, I think this is a good thing. The, the players go out, salute the fans. Everybody feels part of it. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.